Starting with a column, let's use an HSS shape. Next, the beam is added. And for the brace, let's use a double channel. Add the brace forces. For now, let's deselect the right, left, and top drawing views. You can also right click on a view to deselect all other views. Let's add a left beam and brace as well. Notice that right clicking on the drawing opens a list of shortcut tools. Select Copy To, then Upper Left Brace. Notice that the beam and brace were designed without needing to specifically enter the single plates. This is because of design shortcuts and can be changed. The brace was automatically designed to match the beam, and the beam was automatically designed using default settings in general settings. To square the gusset plate, right click on the gusset plate and select Square Corners. Now the right and left gusset plates are different shapes. To edit other dimensions, double click the gusset plate or select Brace Data in the left panel. Here are the two dimensions that were edited when squaring the corners. Let's say the distance from the work point to the end of brace needs to be edited, but it's grayed out right now. This is because of the previous edits. Undoing the edits will allow that field to be edited. Apply this edit to immediately update the drawing and the calculations. Now square the corners again. And edit the corner offset. As you can see, no other edits can be made right now. This is to preserve correct geometry. Undoing the edits in the order that they were entered allows the fields to be edited again. Here's a diagram of the gusset dimensions. Select a dimension to highlight the diagram. Let's cancel all edits that were entered on this form and so step back to when the corners had been squared using the shortcut. The shortcut can also undo this edit. Descon allows gusset plates to be quickly edited to exact dimensions, accomplishing speed and accuracy at the same time.